Hello everyone, Scott Silva Bell coming to you live from Oahu. It is January 5th, 2015. I got my good friend Jen Wright Ginther. And we're gonna talk about body language and if a woman can tell if a, a signs of a guy, if, if a guy is interested in her, all right? So these are a couple of things. We're gonna start with the top of the head and work our way down. So the first thing that can happen is a guy may raise his eyebrows, right? So it's a little bit bright outside. But let's just say I look over at Jen and she looks back at me and I smile and then I raise my eyebrows. That's usually a good indicator that I'm interested. So remember for a woman, it's always, it's okay for a woman to approach just about any guy. It's usually a little bit different for a, a guy approaching a woman. If you're a woman, you're like, should I approach a guy? There's a fast answer and I'm gonna give it to you. Yes, go ahead. It's not gonna hurt anything, okay? Approach him. So like, sometimes people ask, well, what do I do if I gotta recover? Women are like given a lot more leeway than guys. If a woman approaches a guy and the guy's not interested, there's usually some laughs about it. But if a guy approaches a woman and she's not interested, it's a little bit more nervousness and nerve wracking. But the worst thing to do is act like a jerk and walk away and get mad. Hey, look, she wasn't interested, it's okay. Just find somebody else to talk to, it's all right. Okay, so sorry, we got a little bit of sidebar there. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is if a guy is interested, he may wink. Now. Winking may come across wrong. It could come across creepy if it's done wrong. Yeah, don't do the lecherous wink. Yeah, don't do the lecherous wink is what Jen said, okay? So we're gonna talk a little bit about the wink. You're not gonna take your hand and point at your eye and then wink, that's not a good idea. It's just a quick wink, right? Now, a lot of times, let's see, I'll be 40 in the next year coming up. A lot of people who are a little bit older than me are gonna say it's okay to wink at a girl. I'm gonna say that's a little bit edgy. You can do what you want. If you want to, cool. If not, that's all right too, okay? So the next thing is gonna be, she can tell if I'm interested if I smile, right? I smile at her, she smiles at me, she looks down, I smile back, and we go through the smile routine. If she looks down twice, go talk to her, right? But if she smiles at me, unless I smile- Unless she stays looking down. Unless she stays looking down, that's a sign of, hey, leave me alone, buddy, okay? <laughs> so then the next thing is, anything that's puffery. So we're talking about preening. Guys will typically, if they're interested in a girl, they'll puff up a little bit, They'll usually pull their stomach in, right? The Hawaiian Which word is- Girls will do too. Hawaiian word is opu, opu. They'll pull their stomach in just a little bit. They'll pretend like they got a six pack instead of a keg, right? And then, so one of the next things that happens is guys can stick their hands on their hips and do the Superman technique. Like, look how powerful I am. I am Superman almost, okay? And then one of the things that gives away the interest in a person is where somebody's feet are located. So if there's a group of people standing around and there's a couple of girls standing by Jen and then there's a couple of dudes standing by me, if Jen is facing me and both of her feet are facing me, it's a good sign that she's interested in me. Same thing if a guy, if I'm standing here and both my feet are facing Jen and we're in a group of people, that's a good sign. Now, if all of a sudden her feet start going this direction and she starts doing like the, I gotta go to the bathroom dance, that's not a good sign. You've probably done something wrong, okay? So just pay attention to what's going on. Cause a lot of times people say, well, how do I know if somebody's flirting? Well, the first thing to do is pay attention to see what people are doing. The second thing to do is go out there and have some fun. And just remember, if you get rejected, that's okay. There's no reason to be a jerk about it. There's no reason to be upset. Now, here's the thing. Let's say that I'm unfavorably, uh, I say some unfavorable things to Jen if she said, it, she denies my request to having a conversation with her. And there's other girls around, they're gonna hear what type of guy that I am and they're gonna be like, uh, you know what, probably not a good idea to talk to that guy because he treated her badly, right? Not a good thing. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe, and then you can send it out to all your friends via Stumble Upon Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Scott Silvan Bell with my good right, Jen Wright Gither. We'll see you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.